everyone i am mihir patel from department of pharmaceutical technology lg institute of pharmacy welcome you all in this online learning session pharma ignite is the youtube channel of lg institute of pharmacy it is a initiative of our college to give more and more pharmaceutical knowledge to our beloved students so please follow and subscribe our channel let us start our today's session in today's session we will discuss about the basic requirements which are important for pilot plant and scale up techniques so as you can see on the screen there are lot of requirements which we have to focus for the pilot plant and its scale up we'll discuss each and every one in detail in this particular session so let us start with the first one that is about the personal requirement so when we have a thought of this personal requirement for pilot plant and scale up technique i would say that it the processing conditions with respect to the personal requirements you can identify on the screen there are lot of factors which we have to consider so in that case theoretical knowledge of pharmaceutics in individual person is the most important requirement second thing that is practical experiences it plays a vital role to work into the pilot plan third one that is ability to communicate that means there must be a proper communication and coordination within the different personnel which leads to the proper execution of different kind of work then if i say about the some point of knowledge regarding the engineering capability that means it helps a lot for different kind of product execution as well as in emergency point this kind of basic knowledge is very important in pilot plant and scale up technique then if i say the basic knowledge of computer and electronics that also plays a major role so the number of personnel in the pilot plant those who are working that means the group dependency must be into the coordination with all different kind of identifications and its characteristics let us move forward to the next one that is about the space requirements so when we have a thought of this space requirement i would say that a pilot plant has following types of that means i can say it follows a different types of requirements with respect to the space when i have a thought of simple administration and information processing to work out with the different administrative activity and information processing concept it requires a separate space then second if i say about the testing area physical testing area is also the basic requirement is also a basic requirement for pilot plant and scale up technique now with respect to the equipment floor space in the specification as per the regulatory guideline we have to set up specific space for equipments and its working capacity then the last one that is about the storage area so if i talk about the storage area it must have separate provisions for apn and xpns so that according to the cgmp there must be a proper segregation for this kind of material with its approval and unapproved characteristics of the material so with that case we can say that it should have segregation based on its approval process 
then second thought storage area should carry different kind of space requirements to store processing materials bulk products finished products packed products with its environmental stability relation that means controlled environment i can say that controlled environment space should be allocated for stability concern of the particular material so this kind of points we have to focus when we are talking about the space requirements inside the pilot plant and scale up techniques now moving to, towards the next point that is about the process valuation as you can see over here we have to evaluate and optimize each and every process in the pilot scale and scale up technique for the quality output of the product for example if you are operating with the mixing process as you can see on the screen we have to evaluate its different point method of addition for the mixing mixing speed the particular time which is given to the specific material to get mixed so this point of mixings are very important which leads to the ultimate contribution towards the last or end product configuration so in detail if i say rate of addition of granulating agent then solvents solutions different kind of slurries etc this all material addition should have specification so that it has to be validate with the configuration of the product if you would like to filter out different kind of liquids you need to think about the filter size which can be used if you have to process out the solid material so the screen which should be used for solid that is comes under the process evaluation characteristics if you have to dry some particular material drying temperature drying time that becomes the process evaluation factors so i can say that it is the basis of process validation it is the basis of process validation documentation in that means overall i can say process is validated only if there are no changes there are no changes in the formula so obviously the quality of the quality of the ingredients of the equipment configuration is required over here and i can say that revalidation needs to be done for to ensure that changes in the product has not taken place over the period of time so obviously this basic concept over here says about the factors which may contribute to the quality of final product and that relates to the process evaluation now moving forward to the next point that is about the preparation of master manufacturing procedures i would say that this point is one of the very important point to get reproducible product in pharmaceutical industry so it's a kind of recipe that we have to follow for each and every 
batch so what it should contain over here what kind of documentation should be there in this master manufacturing procedure so as you can see on to the screen i can say the specific chemical way sheet in which i can say that it should clearly identify the chemicals required in a batch and present the quantities and present the quantities and the order in which they will be used so over here we can say about the quantity of chemical and the order of addition is also specified within this manufacturing procedure second one you can see this the sampling directions that also be included into the particular manufacturing procedure then in process and finished product you can see these two words are very important one is in process and second one that is finished product procedure so for both it should have a proper clarity in the master manufacturing procedure now in the next point you can say manufacturing directions manufacturing directions should be with the proper language so it can be understandable by the operators with its particular sops so again focus on this point the particular language which you are going to use in this specific documentation it must have a clarity for different kind of operators with its basic sops that means with the regulatory guideline it should have specific criteria and that has to be followed down over here now the next point very important that is batch record directions so batch record directions should include different kind of specification i can give you a simple example for that that means addition rates mixing time mixing speed heating the temperature which has to be followed down what should be the cooling rates so this kind of all points should be included in this master manufacturing procedure and ultimately this all requires a proper documentation this all points should be accommodated with the specific documentation and that has to be carried out over here so i can say overall it becomes a master key for our reproducibility of the final product so at the last we can say that is about the concept of gmp consideration this gmp consideration should acquire different peripheries of the pilot plant and its scale up techniques you can see on to the first one that is process validation it must be carried out throughout this pilot plant operative conditions then the second process that is regular process and review methods that means the process is to be a continuous part of reviewing and that is called the good manufacturing practices so that you can easily evaluate if any kind of problems are happening over there and that has to be resolved to get the quality of the product then the next one you can see that is relevant written standard operating procedures sops so specific sops should be available with the written format and that has to be followed down for e for each and every personnel so in that case we can identify the importance it of its identification into the pilot plan next one about the equipment qualification continuous monitoring for the quality of equipment should be there and the relative term you can identify 
for the equipment so in the next sentence you can see that regularly scheduled preventive maintenance program should be carried out that means equipment should be monitored periodically for its quality output and its region next one the cleaning procedure validation of the cleaning procedure must be there according to the good manufacturing requirements then orderly arrangement of each and every equipment so as to is material flow and prevent cross contamination so the this point is very important i can say that arrangement of each and equipment each and every equipment should in a proper manner which leads to the quality product without chances of any cross contamination then you can see a well defined technology transfer system that means the flow should be unidirectional in a simple case i can use this word the flow of the material should be unidirectional then the next one the use of component the use of component and that means technically qualified personnel it is a very basic requirement for gmp consideration and the last one i can say that adequate provision for training of the personnel so different kind of induction programs should be carried out by the pharmaceutical industry to get personnel with the adequate training skills and that is going to help for the maintenance of gmp and regulatory protocols into the pilot plant and scale up technology so i would say that this was all about the basic concept of gmp consideration over here so in today's session if we summarize we talk about the simple requirements which are important in the pilot plant and it have its own importance over here so if you like our session over here please do subscribe our channel pharma ignite thank you very much for watching this session stay connected with us for our next session till then stay engaged stay curious thank you